Welcome to my kitchen. I've got a special treat for you today. We're going south of the border to warm up our families with some good old Tex-Mex cuisine with black bean quesadillas to serve with a steaming bowl of tortilla soup. This quick supper is healthy, delicious, and is sure to become a favorite, so let's get started. To start, gather all your ingredients and get them prepared so cooking the quesadillas is a snap. You can even prepare them ahead, then just pull them out of the refrigerator right before dinner and cook them quickly. I like to use organic whole wheat flour tortillas to get the dietary benefits of fiber and protein as well as extra minerals. Did you know when the white flour is processed, the wheat kernel is stripped of both its bran and germ, the most nutrient-dense part of the grain? Those phytonutrients are so important to keep in our diet. And it works best to bring the tortilla to room temperature, or if you don't have time, microwave them for about 15 seconds to soften. Mine is already softened here because when I fold it, I don't want it to crack down in the middle. So I'll just put it on a clean, weak surface and get started. This is where the fun begins. I'm going to start with layering my black beans. I'm just going to spread these on half my tortilla, spread them out evenly to about an inch from the edge because I'm going to be layering it over. Now it's hard to say exactly how much I'm going to put because you're going to want to do this according to the size of tortilla that you're able to buy. Now these are organic beans from a can that have been rinsed and drained. You can make your own, but when you can buy organic, it's always a good option. I've got to tell you, black beans are just fantastic. They are one of the highest protein sources of beans that there are. The phytonutrient content is fantastic. I could write a book on the health benefits of beans. They're the highest antioxidant value of any bean out there. One of the types of antioxidants found in the black beans are called anthocyanins. They help keep your blood vessels strong and flexible. Black beans are also excellent for people with diabetes or hypoglycemia because they help keep that insulin level from rising after a meal. The potassium content is remarkable as well, which helps keep your blood pressure under control. Did you know that just one serving of black beans has the same amount of potassium as a full glass of orange juice. Okay, these beans look great, don't they? Now I'm going to sprinkle this with a little bit of sea salt and black pepper. You know, sea salt has 25% less sodium than regular table salt. It also has magnesium and other trace minerals, so I always use sea salt whenever I'm doing healthy cooking. Now, I've got a little bit of taco seasoning, just a little bit. And then my favorite, chipotle chili powder. I just love this. It gives it such a smoky taste, but just a little's going to do. Next, I'm going to add some fresh tomato. Now, I find for one this size, about a quarter to a half a tomato works really well. Now, on your tomatoes, you know how sometimes if you happen to buy ones that are a little bit juicy, you're going to want to drain your tomato. It just depends on the one that you get. This one's nice and firm, so I may not have to do that. But at any rate, you can seed and you can drain your tomato if you're concerned with that. Because you don't want your quesadilla turning out all mushy. And especially if you make these ahead, then you don't want them to get soggy. So we'll just chop that up like that. That looks really good. And we'll just sprinkle that over half. I like generous amounts of tomatoes in mine. It's just something you kind of have to adjust by what your family likes. Again, to about one inch of the edge. That looks good. You know, we just had a study that came in that showed children who eat whole fresh tomatoes like these have lower rates of asthma. Isn't nature just great? Now let's add a little pico de gallo. You can buy this prepared in the produce section or you can make your own. I prefer to make my own so I control the taste. Sometimes some members of my family don't like too much onion, others like a little more this or that. That way you can take it however your family, make it however your family wants it. It's so easy. It's simply tomato, onion, cilantro chopped together with a little fresh lime and a little sea salt. Mm, what a fresh flavor it gives. All right, now let's put some fresh oregano leaves. Just the leaves, though, no stems. Oregano is such a powerful antioxidant. I mean, again, that's another thing we could talk about all day. It's known for its antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral qualities, as well as being a powerful antioxidant. So the bottom line is, use it whenever you can. Okay, now we've got these on here. Let's sprinkle a handful of our shredded pepper jack cheese substitute overall. Yeah, that's right. I said cheese substitute. I've got to tell you, this alternative cheese is just wonderful. It melts just like traditional cheese, but doesn't have the lactose. So if you're lactose intolerant, trying to watch that cholesterol, you can finally have the dishes you love. 
but it does have casein in it. So I don't want you to think that it's dairy or, or vegan, because it's not. It's soy-based, but it does have some milk protein. It's also an excellent source of calcium without the cholesterol and fat. Fold that over. I'll just kind of fold it tight, seal the edges, and see we didn't get that break because we got this warm. Okay, now to cook our quesadilla, heat the skillet over medium-high heat. Add just a little olive oil, swirl that around, and then we're going to just place our quesadilla in the pan and cook for two to three minutes. Okay, that looks good, so let's flip it over and cook an additional two to three minutes on the other side. Now here's a little tip for those of you at home. This works a lot better to flip it if you'll put your spatula in under the folded side. There we go. That looks good. Look how beautiful and browned it is. Now you don't have to worry about melting that cheese all the way as it continues to melt after you take it out of the pan. When it's done, especially if you're cooking for a large crowd, you can take these and just put them on a cookie sheet. Put them in the oven at about 300 degrees and keep them hot until you serve them. And it works just great. This is looking so good. I'm just going to check it here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Okay. Now to serve this, we'll just slide this out onto a work surface. And we're just going to cut these into strips or triangles and place them on a platter, a platter with garnishes. It works good. I like strips. Some people like to have them in triangles, so you can just cut them every which kind of way. And you'll want to take these and just put them onto a platter just like this. Oh, this smells so good. It makes me want to eat one right here and now, I tell you. These are so pretty. There we go. Now I like garnishes like shredded lettuce, sour cream, fresh pica de gallo, guacamole. It's just wonderful. These make a great appetizer for a party or a tasty compliment to a steaming bowl of tortilla soup if you want a complete dinner. We love this dish at our house, and I'm sure you will too. For a copy of these recipes, just go to the website, print them off, and enjoy. And thank you so much for being with us today. Stay tuned for more of your health.